Hi all, we've just come out of the Per Grotteson Spring Summer 20 show. Um, lovely, lovely Per. We're very, always very excited for a Per show. Um, in particular because there's such a lovely collaboration between him and his partner Usam, who does all the wonderful accessories and jewellery. Um, and they're always really personal, wonderful trinkets. Last time we were kind of seeing the dredges, oh, the dredges of um, kind of boats and ships and little wonderful book bottles with messages. And this time was much more personal um, in the sense that you really felt like um, her and his partner had just let themselves go a little bit um, and I don't mean um, run riot I mean just it felt like they were just taking a sigh of relief um, and really putting their emotions in the, into the clothes and the accessories so there's the, the most kind of obvious example of that is um, childhood pictures of Hussam and Per beaded which took about 10 days to make um, on each of the, on each of the t-shirts it looked like um, really old-fashioned kind of printing like that um, of their faces which are really delicate and kind of it, to have such a personal snapshot is really um, emotive in such a, in a collection like this um, and then there were all the usuals that we um, know and love from Per such as denims and he'd also collaborated with Kathy McGee again and they work in very different styles so Per is kind of draping to the body and she's purely digital so um, she works with imagery and then there's the 3d element there as well which i'm not actually sure how it works but um, she's definitely worth picking a brain um picking brains on um, but she did a few biker jackets um, and some trousers as well um, but i love that duality of this um kind of 3d intense element but also this wonderful craft and so yes as i say lots of denim that we've seen with purple before um the wide leg trousers which are so synonymous with the brand but here kind of sliced all the way up to the thigh and in doing this kind of motion it's a it's just about um, creating a slight fragility so yes we're in the menswear shows but often um, often it can be kind of suits and tailoring and you kind of get trapped in a sportswear or tailoring um, kind of weird guise of menswear and actually Per was trying to create a fragile masculinity an emotional masculinity um, and just show that there are different layers to what menswear and masculinity can be and by cutting up to the thigh you're kind of exposed you're exposing yourself you're a little bit fragile and also models are walking in barefoot there's no footwear at all in the show and and that was really to ground the models and it's kind of metaphorical for what Per is going through at the moment really trying to ground himself in his business and really elevate him and himself and his brand um beautiful other romantic notions that were personal as well as the um beaded photographs are these little nest um moments by Usam jewellery, silver, all twisted, um, and this is kind of an homage to a blackbird that was um, nesting outside of Per's house, and they kind of fell in love with it, and just this idea of being outside and watching um, a blackbird in a nest, and really grounding yourself and finding home. And I just, I really am enamoured with all these wonderful um, personal influences that come out. And obviously, when a designer presents, um, you're putting yourself out there, but this really felt like it was just Per kind of. Um, being honest and gushing and showing that um, and a kind of a new side of masculinity which I thought was really beautiful um, particular standouts in the collection for me were um, these kind of satiny wide leg trousers that had sort of double pleating on the front um, and then a kind of traditional or not traditional but traditional for purr um, belt belt line and that kind of came in a separate trouser as well those uh, wide leg kind of satiny ones but also slightly tighter with a tight body t-shirt and around the uh, waistline of those was a different material I believe it was actually denim um, so those two are my um, absolute winners for the collection I just thought it was really beautiful and again a palette of earthen tones which we've seen from Per um, last season and I really like that continuation as well so it was just it was really um, warming and comforting mm. just to see that side of Per I think yeah no I, t I totally agree I think you know but this Per's an awkward, like his boy is awkward and there's yeah. this awkwardness to him that he plays with and indulges and, you know, it's not kind of going out in a slick suit whatsoever. It's he's pushing these pulls of kind of real hands. He'll wash his fabrics and bleach them then wash them again and then scrub them a little bit and yeah. then leave them outside or however, you know, he, he doesn't work to a goal. He just works. And I think the way that it showed today when things were first coming out on the runway, I was confused because it was a departure aesthetically not um in terms of actually how he works but was visually was a departure slightly from what we've seen or at least a large jump forward mm. and then when they all came out together 
and at Nor which they actually didn't all come out together, but they all they walked out in pairs and kind of redid the runway very slowly. Some came out alone, and it was a long process as music was chopping and changing. You saw this 360 of Per's world, mm. and I just and it actually all really came together. And you know, he works with such a beautiful list of people including his partner and they were both referencing their own graduate collections mm. like the beading was from Hassan was what he was looking at in first year and obviously I don't think he was with Per and Per had found it when they moved in together I think or at some point and then we like this we need to do this again we need to look into it and there's that honest creative dialogue between his people that I don't know it's really heartwarming and lovely to see mm. and creates such interesting clothes and such interesting propositions on shape and fabric and masculinity and everything is you're seeing something from a different angle and it's a new point of view yeah which you don't always get with the show you can often see an iteration of lots of other people's points of view that's true very true i, I it's interesting that you said that you were a little um lost at the beginning until they all started coming out because actually there was a few looks where i was um because one of the wonderful things about Per is that, that yes there's an eccentricity to what he does but ultimately um, it's it's still day wear. You can still yeah. wear a beautiful wide leg jean or a tight top or there's always something a little unorthodox or a little, um, or the craft is, and, and un, there's an element of unfinished nicenessness, which Per um, loves and we love and, you know, exposed seams and stuff, but it's always totally wearable, totally day wear, work appropriate. Um, but then, well, interesting that you mentioned that at the beginning of the show you were a little unsure because as soon as the trousers with the denim that looked as if someone had tied a denim another denim jacket around the waist yeah so they were tra wide leg trousers with a wrap around the waist but they were actually one unit rather than looking they would look like two i was like oh i'm not sure i think we've lost lost that um we've gone too far into the other side yeah but actually you're quite right when we when we saw it saw it all together at the finale I was like oh actually it makes so much sense it's yeah. so cohesive with everything else that we're seeing here um, and then those, sudden, those trousers suddenly become incredibly wearable yeah. and I'm like actually well because I own a bit of pair and wear it quite a lot quite often he leaves space for you to interpret his work yeah. so you can tie you can either hang up you can get you know you can pull and push and change the clothes yourself and he's really thinking in terms of that as well which yeah. I think quite you know it's quite often like even in this jacket that's by com it's quite rigid i am you know my body shape is the jacket yeah. whereas per has a slouch and a and a room for you to maneuver it and change it how you want to wear it that's which very i think true. is really beautiful that's very true and i think that comes with the unfinished um finish <laughs> as well with a little um seam stuff you can tug at those and make them make them worse you can yeah. and also the with the jewelry as well there's that person personality Personalization. There you go. God, yeah. I really can't get words out today. <laughs> Personalization. So you know, with um, they usually do pins and jewels and brooches. So not only can you tug at your own thing, you can loosen the jacket straps around your waist. You can button it. So I really love that. While this was a really personal collection, yeah. everyone can put their own personal stamp on it. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. He's, he's he's a humanitarian. It's but he knows <laughs> people. Yeah. Then he knows what and he knows what people want. Yeah. Before they do. Yeah. Well, you know what we want, Per. That was, that was <laughs> lovely. Um, thank you guys so much for watching our Per Gotterson review. Um, please do subscribe to keep abreast of what is coming soon. And um, be sure to visit Show Studio so you can see all the wonderful looks that we've been discussing. Um, see you guys very soon.